busy day today, just non-stop. I finished two lectures this morning preparing for a super and I have two training at 1 p.m. and then I have two supervisions. So from quarter past three to I think half five, I will have class. I made myself coffee. Oh. Because once again, I couldn't get out of bed this morning. But it's now lunchtime, so I'm gonna head to the buttery and get something. I'm also gonna go see a senior who's here. She's in Cambridge today, so I'm gonna go catch up with her. I watched this lecture today and this one. Working on notes is honestly the hardest because I have to literally harmonize so many things together including like the slides, lecture notes, my own notes, my seniors notes but it's good, I think it will really help This morning was so sunny so I wanted to go on a garden walk by the time it came out, it's all grey I miss walking in the gardens I need to incorporate it more into my schedule <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys, today is going to be a study day, but it's going to be in London. Zinni started her job yesterday, we are planning to get dinner together, she's working in London, so just to catch up and see how she's doing, but before that I'm just going to go and study in some cafe, I don't really know what yet, but we'll see. <laughs> Good morning guys, I am at the point of term where I have no motivation to do anything and yesterday was the cherry on top of the cake. Heading out for class, I have class at 10 a.m. I'm really tired. I have a slight ache in my right eye. That was a really good class and I'm so glad I had that class because it really just like helped me understand the concept so much better. It was company law supervision and those are always good because my supervisor is amazing. It was on unfair prejudice. This is my favorite brand of oat milk. I'm thinking coffee would probably make me happier even if it doesn't wake me up. Coffee. still snowing right now but it's not like settling on the ground i just had a quick power nap i just have to ease into work for the day because deadlines are coming up so yeah and tonight it's my friend's birthday as well so going out for a meal um it will be a really nice evening but i hope to get some work done before that my plan is to do a first draft of an essay that is due on saturday and i have an essay due on sunday as well which i haven't started i've like planned both of them but writing is the hardest part i think yesterday just kind of broke me a bit in that i was so demotivated so i had intellectual property supervision yesterday and that was all the way in town with Lindsay and naj and i think i'm not exactly feeling the best in terms of like my motivation is to work but i think it's a common thing at the end of time like everyone's quite tired and not feeling it so yeah i might just work here for a bit because it feels quite nice and a lot of sunlight and then i have an ELL supervision at 2 45 but that's just at the law faculty so not too far but yeah hmm. london was really nice i was actually really productive in london shockingly hey i'm back at my desk I need to do this company law problem question out of all the company law problem questions i've done this has been the hardest one for me personally i don't know if it's the topic or what it's just major struggles i already have a plan i don't even know if the plan is good but i'm just telling myself you know like supervision essays are for trial and error and to help me to understand the topic and if i hate it i can try drop it in the exam <laughs> although i don't know for company law if i can drop because apparently all the topics mix but yeah 
heading to class and it's so rainy. I basically never go to the law faculty anymore unless if it's for class. <laughs> on Instagram apparently if you poke a hole at the bottom your tulips will stay alive for longer and I am a sheep so I'm gonna try it out imagine if they die quicker because I'm doing this the company law problem question so the EU law supervision was really really good there are just some really good supervisors and Sophie is definitely one of them really helped to like redraw my memories of the topic because I hardly remember it even though I learned it like this week yeah because I just didn't have time to review the material before the supervision but it went well it was on the free movement passes so I'm now going to try to tackle my company problem question mm. I think this is definitely a hard one but Hopefully, we'll get it done well. So this is the question that I am working on and I just spent around half an hour on it. So I just worked on the first part a bit and honestly it's quite productive and it's like finally coming together. So I think I can finish this tonight after the dinner. So I printed off some pictures from this term and I'm so excited Oops, to put them up on this part of my notice board I have pictures from like last term not everything and I just hadn't gotten around to printing off <laughs> any this term these are some really nice memories this is from Peter House formerly Clarice it's actually her birthday that we're celebrating tonight in Sharita's room, her very cute room at the cafe, celebrating Jessica's birthday times when I went to London and cafes, oh this is so good when my besties visited pizza night, oh this is so cute and Noonan, frosty Noonan I can't wait to put these up oh pretty girl hello from venturing outside and I've just about recovered from the cold I think I'm definitely the type of person who if I see something I, I need to go and see it mm -mm. it's actually I think the snow has stopped it's raining now and I'm really glad I went outside even though it was so cold and it was really slippery and I kind of look crazy so now I'm going to work on my essay a lot later than I planned but I'm happy and hopefully I'll be productive so I really need to get this essay done and I'll update you guys on how long it takes. I think I said something like, I'm not gonna eat until I finish this essay, but I went to go make myself ramen, so I'm like halfway there and it's currently 12 p.m. It has been finished with 1,242 words. I made coffee again and oh, the cup matches the flowers so cute 
I can't be bothered to work, so I decided I'm gonna make a list of things to do in the holiday <laughs> because the holiday is next week. Obviously, I'm gonna take a break, but there's a lot of things that I need to do and catch up on and also really consolidate, so I need to start thinking about it. Mm, I need to learn one more topic for four of my subjects, so that's important. I want to review all of my essay feedback. I need to choose topics for exam and I want to go through every topic chosen. I need to start looking for exam pattern, do more reading. So this is meant to be my week next week. Good evening. I'm currently getting ready for my last ever subject formal haul. <laughs> it's crazy. I just came back from a little library rare books collection tour talk thing um, with Giovanna and Nash, two of the students in my year. Two of students, two of my friends in my year. <laughs> and the formal is in like, I think 20 minutes. <laughs> We're not in a rush actually, but we actually just went to watch Lindsay, another friend of ours in studying long in the Aya, in her basketball match. So that was super fun. And it was so like, my heart was beating so fast, like watching the basketball game. I don't really watch sports, so it was really fun and she was amazing. So. so I actually didn't get to attend the subject hall formal last year because it was in Michaelmas for the first term, but I came back in Lent term after my intermission uh, the second term. So this is my second and last one ever. Literally, where has the time gone? Actually, tomorrow is meant to be like quote unquote the end of term, but I have two supervisions on Friday. And when I say I'm unprepared, I am unprepared, like literally unprepared. I also have essays due after term ends, so term doesn't really end, I guess. But yeah, I'm really excited for this subject hall formal because I feel like it'll be fun and I get to like catch up with the law students in my year. I keep calling them law students, but the law friends in my year. This is the fit today. I don't actually put in that much effort into getting ready today, <laughs> but I have this, oh, it's falling off, this cute earring. I have this cute earring thing going on here and wearing a flowery dress. I actually really like this dress. <laughs> My Oseo bag <laughs> from shopping. It's pretty. And because I always have my white heels. I'm wearing silver heels today. I got these made in Hong Kong like maybe seven years ago. <laughs> my feet size hasn't changed since. So on they go. I don't know if they'll match well with a white dress but you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I think subject formals are like the only time where I get to see like everybody from Newnan that does law. Um, so I think that's like law, land economy, geography, and one more subject. And these formals are free and they happen once a year. And I think supervisors and the principal will be there as well. And I, I'm not sure about decorations wise, but I remember my first year subject formal and I really enjoyed it. I really think it's just like company and I get along really well with my year. So I think we'll be staying together. So there'll be like a seating plan and everything. Yeah, <laughs> I think I vaguely remember, no I do remember, <laughs> like going to halfway hall and I was like oh I'm halfway through my degree and now I'm like about three quarters, can't math but feels like three quarters into my degree. It's crazy because like literally the learning from my whole course is like coming to an end and I think because everybody will be in different places this time next year, like I won't be in this room, I won't see these people, these friends and won't interact with the same people but on a daily basis and I think it really is just all about appreciating and enjoying the time that we do have together and I think this time what I've enjoyed the most is just like new experiences I've done a lot of new and exciting things this time like I went to watch an ice hockey match which sounds quite generic but to me that was really exciting um went to a fashion show and it's so cool. I've had so many opportunities this time and I'm really grateful that I'm here. It's crazy to think that I wouldn't have been if I graduated last year. 
since I took my gap year, so I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna head off for the formal now. Um, I'm bringing this bag. This is basically the bag I use for absolutely everything. I'll grab my stuff and we can head off. really cute cup oh all right goodbye today is officially one day before the end of term <laughs> i just had my dos meeting um which is my director of studies with my director of studies we have a meeting at the beginning of time at the end of term just like check in how time has been and I've just been telling her like how it's been saying I really enjoyed it and kind of like how I felt um, about my supervisors and my supervisions and everything like that and I think it would be good to do a review at the end of the year to be honest but I think so far like out of all the years I've been at Cambridge like is the only year where I felt like with some of my supervisions it's kind of reinforced negative Cambridge stereotypes in that it's not good like um I don't know how much to share maybe later on um but I mean we're, we're all happy and I'm happy so by this time of term we're basically all given up I have two supervisions tomorrow and I just started learning one of them like today basically um so i really need to get the rest of it done there's four lectures to do for it and for the other supervision tomorrow i have done all the lectures and i've like learned it but i've learned it like very surface level <laughs> but we'll try working um yeah i'm ready for the formal wearing a green dress and silver shoes and i have a green headband as well <gasps> Yesterday was really good and for the two classes I had today so I went at quarter past three and I went at half four back to back equity and then conflict of laws I've done literally the bare minimum <laughs> and I messaged my friend and I was like I've done the bare minimum and she said I haven't even done that <laughs> so I was like we're all on the same boat just tired and it is in fact the last day of term so after this I'm just gonna sleep for like three days straight <laughs> The reading was just like this long and I've read like zero. <laughs> I wonder if I'll pay for this at the holiday. No, I've done this before. It works out fine. <laughs> but all in all, I've been really grateful for this term. I've had some really amazing experiences and it's been very chill and the flowers are coming back out. So 